Good evening YouTube. Today's video I'm going to a drag show in Ibiza. I'm here at the sunset and right behind me as you can see that is the WikiWoo Hotel. This is tucked. It's a drag show and it happens every Tuesday so let's go inside. I'm sure it's going to be a I'm here with the man, the myth, the legend, Nick. What is Tuck quickly? Hey guys, so Tuck is Ibiza's first high-end drag show every Tuesday at Wiki Woo. Uh, it's Tuck Tuck Tuesdays. Um, you get a three-course meal, cocktails, and you get an amazing high-end drag show every single week. Okay, and that's a nice car you have. It's amazing. It's one I bought yesterday. <laughs> Tony's been looking after me. And you, you've done this one before, haven't you? We've done this back in 2020, but COVID got cancelled. Um, it was a bit of a shit show. We're back again with full force every single Tuesday, all the way through to uh, the end of September. And do you buy tickets or what? You can buy tickets um, by emailing reservations at wikiwoohotel.com. It's 80 euros per person um, and you get a booth and you get your three course dinner as well. Perfect. I'm going to go inside and have Cheers a little lunch. Yes, <laughs> mate. Thank you. Mr. Wikiwoo himself, Tony Truman. Tony, what is going on out there? Oh my God, absolutely crazy. Amazing to have uh, Tuck back every Tuesday night at the Wikiwoo Hotel. Yeah, I think it's something that's much needed for Ibiza. As we know, all the bars and clubs you go to, it's all about dance music, house music, whatever. But we thought we'd bring back a bit of an old fashioned cabaret yeah. and what better way from have a load of Ibiza drag queens. <laughs> I've had such a laugh. What can you tell us about the Wiki Woo? I mean, this, what is this room? This is, I've been, I've been in it before, but. <laughs> I'm sure you've been in it many times before. <laughs> As you know, at the Wiki Woo, we've got a secret little club room. Maybe it's not such a secret anymore. And uh, this year we totally transformed it into this gold boudoir. Um, sponsored by AU Vodka. Thank you very much, AU, for supporting us this year. And um, great little place to have a little late night drink and a bit of a carry on party. Perfect. I think we'll go back outside, will we? Yes, let's go back. <laughs> we might find you a nice drag queen. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're all right. Oh, we're going to save those drag queens for Wayne Lineker. He loves them. <laughs> Jono, what was that? That was fucking epic! And uh, just in case you forgot my name, babe, come and zoom in on my tip. <laughs> I've got it tattooed right here for you, so you'll never forget. So, sell us talked. Sell us talked. Yeah. Just come here, find out for yourself, babe, because if you weren't here tonight, then you don't know. And we're here every Tuesday, so when we say see you next Tuesday, we really fucking mean it. <laughs> Thank you, I had a fun time. Did you? Yeah, it was amazing. Are you a heterosexual person? That was my first oh, my show. Oh, it was your first ever yeah, yeah, show? Yeah, I am, yeah. He, he was heterosexual till he saw our show. <laughs> oh, I'm going to say, that's I the am. Talk. That is it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for a great Thanks, time, man. all right? That, my friends, was Tokt Abita. 
It's 6.30 in the morning. I didn't go to the after party. I came up here this morning for a hike. As many of you know, I'm trying to stay on the straight and narrow. And in a space of a week, I've managed to fix my uh, psoriasis uh, eczema. You can see I couldn't even leave the house a couple of weeks ago. Uh, what a morning. I much prefer listening to the birds chirping as I do then. Tonight is ringing in my ears. A lot of people are coming home from Pasha tonight. Obviously camel fat were there. Huge fans of camel fat, but I have been clubbing for the last 12 years. I've seen camel fat in space, uh, Amnesia, High, Ushuaia, as well as Dubai, Miami, New York. So I'm not feeling like I'm missing out, but I will be in the clubs in the coming days. And yeah, stay tuned for that. Uh, I've got some really huge vlogs coming up. So the reason I made this vlog was just because Nick is a good friend of mine and I wanted to show the diversity on the island. One of the reasons that I actually moved to the island, as you know, I come from the north of Ireland. So we're plagued with religion when we're brought up. You shouldn't talk to this person because he's that religion. We're all segregated into schools based on your religion. And I think that's unacceptable, especially in these days. And we accept everybody for their differences. And that was a perfect example. We had a great time at Tuck, no matter what religion, sex you are. And, uh, and that's fundamentally what Ibiza has always been about. I know this vlog will probably get some nasty comments, but that's life. People don't really get it. And a lot of people that live here in Ibiza love each other for who they are. And I'm here on my own, 6.30 in the morning in San Antonio, feeling amazing. And that means me staying sober means you're gonna to get to see a lot more vlogs. I have some really amazing vlogs coming up, as I mentioned before. They are gonna be in the clubs. They are gonna be in the north. They're gonna be having dinners and I'm gonna be interviewing and getting behind the scenes. As long as I'm feeling like this, then that means the channel is gonna go. At the end of the summer, will I drink? I don't think I will, but I'll have that option. Because if I have a couple of drinks, or if I would have went to Pasha last night, this vlog wouldn't have probably happened. It is an incredible day. If you're coming to Ibiza in the next couple of weeks, I know a lot of people are stressing about the weather. The weather has been terrible over the last phew, three, four weeks. Um, but as you can see, there's not really many clouds in the sky. Um, as you see out here to Cala Comta in the distance, there's definitely no clouds in the sky. The water is flat. And maybe I'll even say a little prayer. Oh, no, no, look, someone's been up here before me. There's a candle lit. Yeah, there's a candle lit. It's Mary. This is a little notice board for people. I don't want to really be invasive, but like people come up here and take pictures of their loved ones and they hang them on the, the notice board. I know somebody that watches my vlogs gentleman asked me if the picture was there of him and his son. I don't want to zoom too close into it, but it, it's there. And if you're watching, it's there. I can't remember who that was, who has shut this gate over. And we'll see what today brings. I'll maybe bring you back down the hill and we'll go for a coffee. I know this is summer, I go a lot, but it's nice to clear the mind, just get up here. It's not a hard hike, you just, I know a lot of people ask me all the time, I think I said it in the last vlog as well. You just go to a place called Villa Manchanga where there's a roundabout towards Caligracio, head to the car park and walk up this way. If you come up this way, you're probably gonna have a heart attack. As did two subscribers come up that way. I think he said his 70 year old wife nearly dropped at the top. Don't go that way unless you're in a fitness enthusiastic. Um, but yeah, the sunrise is just coming up now and it is incredible. Looking out to Cala uh, Salada here and Cap Nono in the distance. Obviously down here is Cala Grassinetta and Can Cautious where the football pitches and the swimming pool with public running. So there you go. And we will go back over here. This is the bus station. That big weird oval shaped thing. And then you have Abitha Rocks Hotel, which is sold out at the moment. Becky Hill was there last night. I was passing and I could hear her. I didn't pop in. And then over here, you are all the way over to Old Beach Club. And then down there is where I stayed the other day in the Melia Hotel inside by Abitha. So yeah, a unique island. And I hope you've enjoyed this one. I know it's a little bit different, but it is what it is. And that's what we love about this island.